to YouTube Celebrity Gossip News. My name is Chris, welcome to the show. I got some news about a teacher from California that, you know, overall wants to have kids pledge your allegiance to a flag. Um, and it's not the United States flag, it's not the American flag, it's something else. Also, not just that, we're talking about Jake Paul and his fight against Woodley. Stick around, got some interesting news for you. And let's go. Welcome back everyone. Kristen Prison is a teacher from California and um, she admits during third period she has her students pledge to a flag and it's not the United States of America flag. It's not the American flag. It's actually the gay pride flag. Uh, how she explains it. Well, let me show okay, you. Okay, so during third period we have announcements and they do the Pledge of Allegiance. I always tell my class Stand if you feel like it. Don't stand if you feel like it. Say the words if you want. Don't have to say the words. So my class decided to stand but not say the words. Totally fine. Except for the fact that my room does not have a flag. It used to be there. But I took it down during COVID because it made me uncomfortable. And um, I packed it away and I don't know where. And I haven't found it yet. <laughs> But my kid today goes, hey, um, it's kind of weird that we just stand and then, you know, we say it to nothing. And I'm like, oh, well, you know, I got to find it. Like, I'm working on it. I got you. <laughs> in the meantime, I tell this kid, we do have a flag in the class that you can pledge your allegiance to. And he, like, looks around. And he goes, oh, that one? I have to question this teacher and I have to ask how does she still have a job after telling a student that to pledge their allegiance to to the pride rainbow flag. You cannot tell a student that they are there to learn and I'm thinking that there's issues behind the scenes. The parents questioning this teacher. I question this teacher's sanity and I want to honestly know about what your thoughts are about this story, what this teacher has pulled in her classroom. Next we have Jake Paul. Basically Jake Paul says he is retiring from boxing after he beat Tyron Woodley. So basically here's what happened. Jake Paul won against Woodley in his fight. Jake Paul says he's retiring now even though Jake Paul's gonna get a big fat paycheck. This was a split decision and I also have to question the judges. It was a fight overall that I saw and Woodley got some great knocks in of Jake Paul, but why would Jake Paul win? All these split decisions that are happening, the same thing happened against Conor McGregor. It was a split decision down the middle to where Jake Paul won that fight as well. Are the judges feeling sorry for him so that he's winning these fights? Help his boxing career a lot more? Who saw that fight out there? Do you think Jake Paul actually won or do you think Woodley won? Dave Chappelle was at the Jake Paul versus Woodley fight and not just that. He was at the side of the cameras where the the cameras were on, the mics, and Dave Chappelle was for Jake Paul to win and all. So after that, he went up to um, Jake Paul after the fight and congratulated him. But first, he was all for uh, Willie to win, but Willie, you know, did not win. He was funny, and Dave Chappelle had a good time in that fight as well. So, that's all the stories I have for you. What you could do is like this video if you have not liked this video already. Push that subscribe button. 
So what you can also do is sign up for my channel for over one dollar, and that's uh, you know supporting my channel and uh, supporting what I do. The funds go towards you guys and uh, behind the scenes stuff as well. So please, with all due, sign up and it'll only cost you one dollar. This has been the Top Level Media and Let's Be Social and I will see you next time. Bye for now.